Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. My name is David Hopfmüller, and uh, I welcome you to our webinar on the integration of Cisco Meraki and uh, Cisco Umbrella. Um, today, I'm, I've been joined by my two colleagues, uh, Yasmin and Ishan, who will, together with me, um, tell you a bit more, a bit more um, about these two products and uh, how we can integrate both. Um, I also want to mention we have a Q&A session um, integrated into this uh, WebEx. So um, at any time, if you have any questions which haven't been answered, feel free to put in your questions. We will do our best to um, address them and to um, come back with an answer. All right. Uh, without further ado, let me uh, let me start with uh, with the topic of today's session and and. Let me tell you why uh, we think this is a really great story we have to share today. Um, because the goal um, we have is, is to tell you um, how you can secure and protect every user on your network virtually within minutes. I think this is a, a really um, bold and excite, exciting statement because um, um, if, you're, if you have, have been in the IT uh, in networking business uh, for a bit of time, you know that this can be very, uh, very cumbersome and, and uh, with a, it comes with a lot of effort um, to integrate protection into your network. And, and I think with the solution we have in place, uh, that can be much easier and uh, also much faster. All right, um, as you probably already know, the two Cisco products we are talking about today are Cisco Meraki and Cisco Umbrella. And uh, you probably know uh, at least one of the products a bit better than the other, and uh, but I still want to cover both, so we are all on the same page uh, what what uh, these two products are and what what they can actually do. So uh, Cisco Meraki is uh, Cisco's cloud managed network uh, portfolio, and uh, and the name uh, basically uh, the name basically says it all. It's cloud managed, so you have a Cloud, uh, cloud-based dashboard, which allows you to manage all your uh, network devices. And I think that is a really um, exciting approach because it allows you to manage uh, the whole portfolio. That means uh, access points, switches, uh, security appliances, mobile devices, everything from the single, from one single cloud-based uh, dashboard without needing uh, to jump back and forth. So I think that this is uh, this is really cool. And uh, yeah, it also provides a lot of visibility in, into all sorts of aspects of your uh, network, um, particularly into applications your users are using across your networks. Uh, it, it provides you with visibility in, into the devices your users are using and also a lot of statistics so you know what is actually going on on your network. And uh, uh, just you know, I will have a couple of slides here on, on both products, and we will introduce you um, to both of the products, and but we will also have a live demo where you can see how this actually uh, looks uh, in action and, and how, it, how it feels, so to say. Yeah, and uh, Meraki is also quite uh, different from other products in that, in that it doesn't need any, any controller hardware um, on, on premise. So, um, in contrast to other solutions where you need to have the controller actually uh, somewhere installed, um, we, we don't need that. So everything is cloud-based and cloud-managed, which again makes it much faster to deploy and, and also much easier um, to maintain. All right, let's move to the blue side of things, to Umbrella. Um, Umbrella is a cloud-delivered secure internet gateway, which uh, uh, is, uh, you know, that, that term, Secure Internet Gateway, may be something you haven't heard before. It's actually a new category of, of products, uh, similar to other product uh, product categories such as um, such as uh, next generation firewalls, right? And uh, it's a it's a quite new and and exciting approach to providing security um, because it's cloud based and such as, as it, it it can actually um, protect you um, from Pretty much everything, every everything bad out there on the internet, um, and we have some examples on the slide. Like for example, malware and ransomware are uh, 
very prominent uh, examples of, of threats umbrella can protect you against and also c2 callbacks so these are command and control servers which are on the internet and, and controlled malware that, uh, that resides on your on your computer um, we cannot only protect you from threats, we can also provide you with additional visibility into net, uh, internet activity. And uh, you, if you can see the slide, also mentions across all locations and users. And I think uh, that is that is also something very exciting because, as you will see throughout our demonstration, Meraki does a very good job of pr uh, protecting your network and, and your you know your your own uh, network. But as soon as as computers move out of your network, for example, if you if you if you are connected to a Wi-Fi uh, at the airport or at a hotel, you can have the greatest protection uh, on your company or corporate network, but uh, it wouldn't protect your, uh, your notebook when you are somewhere else. In that case, Meraki can can fill in and actually provide these devices as well, um, no matter where they are located. Okay, and similar to Meraki, um, it doesn't require um, it doesn't require um, any hardware. Actually, with Umbrella, we even go one step further than Meraki does because Meraki is is based on hardware, um, which you can control through the cloud. In the case of Umbrella, um, the whole solution is delivered through the cloud. So you you actually don't need a single piece of hardware installed, which again makes it much much faster to roll out and much much easier to maintain as well. All right, uh, so let's uh, let's see what the combination of these two solutions can actually um, can actually deliver. And um, I think the most exciting uh, the most exciting thing about this integration is that it actually makes uh, the deployment of Umbrella um, even easier than it is than it already is. So um, in, you you don't even have to configure any DNS server settings. Um, you can actually integrate these two dashboards very easily. Michelle will um, show you how this works in, in, in a few minutes. And this just makes it very easy and convenient to integrate Meraki with, them, with uh, Umbrella. And I think um, this is actually what, what it's all about because, you know, when, when security solutions are complex and, and hard to deploy, um, in, in, in many cases they just aren't used properly or uh, aren't, aren't deployed at all. Um, you can see uh, we can, with this integration, we can actually create policies on a very granular basis. So um, we can create or link these policies to SSIDs. So an SSID is basically another term for Wi-Fi. So you can you can have separate policies for um, separate Wi-Fi's which you provide. So this could be an employee Wi-Fi and a guest Wi-Fi, for example. Um, and you can also link these policies to um, Meraki group policies. Right? So um, essentially, it, it gives you, it maintains all the flexibility with, which you have within the Meraki solution, but just allows you to very easily uh, link these umbrella policies to your uh, Meraki policies. Okay, so this is uh, this is just a quick overview of uh, of what the solution looks like, and uh, I would like now to go in a bit more depth about. Uh, each of the two products, and uh, let's start with Umbrella. And um, Yamin will tell you a bit more uh, about what Umbrella is and what it can do. Thank you, David. Hi, everyone, and thanks again for joining us today. My name is Yasin Masakas, and today I will talk to you about Cisco Umbrella. So let's get started on the first slide. Cisco Umbrella is Cisco's secure internet gateway. It provides the first line of defense against threats on the internet wherever users go. So whether your users are on their corporate network or off the corporate network, you still can see them and they are still protected. The way Umbrella does that is by analyzing and learning from internet activity patterns. So it automatically uncovers attacker infrastructure staged for current and emerging threats. And it also proactively blocks malicious requests before they reach a customer's network or endpoint. With Umbrella, you can stop phishing and malware infections earlier. You can also identify already infected devices, and you can prevent data exfiltration. Now, 
Because Umbrella is built into the foundation of the Internet and it is delivered from the cloud, it provides complete visibility into Internet activity across all locations and users. Plus, it is one of the simplest security products to deploy and manage, and my colleague Eshaim will show you um, what I mean in the, demo, in the demo at the end of this presentation. Moving on to the next slide to talk a bit more about how Umbrella actually works. So it all begins with DNS. We use it as the main mechanism to get traffic to our cloud platform for inspection. Now, everyone has probably heard of DNS before, but let me cover the basics really quickly. So DNS is the domain name system. It is used to map domain names like Cisco.com, for example, to an IP address. Now, think about when you want to call your friend or colleague. You look up their name in your contacts list instead of trying to remember everyone's phone number. DNS was developed for a very similar reason. You wouldn't need to remember the IP address of every website you want to access. You just look up the domain name as it is easier to remember. As you can see on the screen, DNS is the first step in nearly all internet connections, and it is used by all devices. Anytime you click on a link or type a URL for an external site, for example, you type Cisco.com, the request goes to a recursive DNS service like Umbrella, and it will look up that IP address for you. So Umbrella will not only resolve that DNS request, but it will also add security at the same time. And all of that without adding, adding any latency. In fact, many customers report their internet performance actually got better after switching to Umbrella. Now, um, before I jump into, before we jump onto the dashboard, let's talk quickly about how, uh, what sets us apart from our competitors in our next slide. First of all, um, we have the fastest and most reliable cloud infrastructure. So when customers connect to a cloud security platform, the performance of it is critical. It cannot break down or, it, or slow down the internet connections. Since our network was established in 2006, we are proud and happy to say that we have maintained 100% uptime. And not just that, but we have peering relationships with over 500 internet service providers, which, allow us to, which allows us to um, resolve requests faster and most customers actually report a boost in their speed. Um, next, we have the most open platform. Um, so we leverage our bi-directional API so that our customers can easily integrate Umbrella with existing tools to automatically add to our platform or enhance their current existing systems in their network, and all of that by extending protection and enhancing information. We also have the most predictive uh, intelligence. Our incomparable intelligence enables us to uncover malicious domains, IPs, and URLs before they even before they are even used in attacks. Um, and most uh, one of the most important um, features that separate Umbrella from um, our competitors is how easy it is to deploy. So there is no hardware to install or software to manually update. Customers can just leverage their existing Cisco footprint to provision thousands of network devices and laptops. The most basic de umbrella deployment actually only takes um, a maximum of 30 minutes. Lastly, um, Umbrella provides the broadest coverage of malicious destinations and files. Now, not only do we have the power of um, seeing and blocking those malicious domains and IPs with Umbrella, but we also have coverage for malicious files that are attempted to be downloaded from risky domains. And this is done through um, the power of AMP, which, is, which stands for Advanced Malware Protection, and it is one of our other security products that are provided um, with Umbrella in the cloud. Um, I hope this gave you an understanding of what Umbrella is. Um, my colleague Ishan will be showing you uh, the dashboard um, in a minute, but now let me just hand over to my colleague David to talk about Meraki in more detail.
Thank you very much, uh, Yasmin. I think that's that's very exciting, and I think especially that that time uh, it takes to roll out Umbrella. I think that's very exciting, and that's always a feedback I get from many customers. They're really excited about how fast we can actually roll out Umbrella and, and start protecting their infrastructure. And also, it's a, it's a very good uh, opportunity to just test Umbrella, right? Because it doesn't come with uh, with a lot of effort on on your side. Essentially, we can be up and running in just a couple of minutes and and come back with a very nice and informative report for you on, on what is actually going on on your network. Okay, um, I would like to tell you a bit more about uh, Meraki, and uh, let's just uh, have a quick look at what Meraki is and what it what it can do. Um, I already mentioned that Meraki can actually provide um, provide a whole portfolio of networking. Uh, you know all all the all the functions which you which you know, um, which includes wireless, so access point. Um, we also have uh, switching and security appliances. Uh, we provide SD-WAN, application performance management, and uh, also um, endpoint management, so an MDM solution, and security cameras. And, and if you look closely, you can see we have these, these small um, icons on, on, on the left, which depict uh, all of these products which Meraki offers and they all have one thing in common and this is why they are all connected to this cloud in the middle so they are all cloud managed and um, managed to the cloud uh, cloud based dashboard which you can see on the top so all of these for all of these products you just have one single dashboard and uh, which you use to manage these devices this uh, makes it really easy and uh, and uh, this also makes us the leader in, in cloud managed IT right and Meraki is one of Cisco's fastest growing business units, so this is very exciting. And uh, also, it, I think it's good to know that Meraki was actually built, or it was born as a, as a cloud native product, right? So this is not a solution where cloud was somehow bolted on afterwards. Um, instead, this was really built as a cloud managed product. And that's something you, you can just, you can feel and experience when, when you use Meraki products in, in, in you know, how, how can I say how how native this integration feels? Right? So this is this is really a, a really mature solution. Um, at the at the moment we have more than 350 unique customers worldwide who who trust in in Meraki services. So you can see this is a this is a well tested and, and broadly deployed solution. We have uh, more than four and a half million network uh, devices on online. Which I think is is really cool, and uh, about five and a half million active uh, dashboard users, right? Who, who use the dashboard to to manage their devices. All right. So I think this is uh, uh, this is quite uh, of interest. How does this out of band cloud management actually work? And I think it's also important in terms of uh, in terms of privacy. So uh, the the implications that that come with the cloud connection. Um, because uh, one question I, I receive frequently um, is, so what traffic actually goes to, goes to the cloud, right? So, um, and I think this is important to, to answer and also important to understand that in case of Meraki, um, the only data that is exchanged with the cloud is uh, actually the management data, right? So what you can see here, um, the, this dotted line, is just the management uh, and, and going back and forth between Meraki devices and the cloud. Um, this is only a very, uh, very minimal amount of, of data. So um, it's about one kilobit per second per device. So this is uh, this is essentially nothing compared to um, today's bandwidth. Um, all the user traffic, as you can see, it doesn't go to the Meraki cloud. Instead, it, it just uh, goes the usual way. So it connects to your to the rest of your corporate network. Or to your um, internet service provider directly, so that the data doesn't go to Meraki scale. And uh, in order to make the solution really reliable, um, we have multiple data centers worldwide, so um, we and we can provide a, a very high uh, percentage in, in time in, in terms of uptime SLA. I think that's also important because with a cloud managed product, of course, you want to be sure that this cloud based dashboard is available. And I think uh, our track record in, in terms of reliability is, is 
speaking for itself. Okay, um, we are also HIPAA and PC, PCI compliant. This is important if you are in the healthcare business or dealing with uh, credit card data. So uh, we have these certifications as well. And uh, we can also provide um, third party security audits uh, with data penetration testing as well. Actually, you know, um, uh, when, when customers think of cloud, they often, they often feel like, oh, this is something uh, might, that, might that add some sort of uh, you know, insecurity. Actually, I think it's the other way around because uh, Meraki does have a dedicated, and the same is true for Umbrella, we have dedicated uh, security teams who um, test the solution every day. And I think this is a level of, uh, you know, of penetration testing and, and, and a level of security, which is hard to maintain um, with, with an on-prem infrastructure, which is just managed on-premises. So very few customers have, have a dedicated security team who, uh, who look after the security of the product to use. All right. Um, so with that, I would uh, just spend a few seconds on uh, on, on Meraki's security uh, and the integrations we have, because I think this is a very this is a very exciting topic. Um, because what you can see here is how Meraki products benefit from Cisco's overall security architecture, and uh, this is also one of the, one of the big benefits of going with a with a Meraki and Umbrella solution that actually. Uh, all the other products which Cisco has, these are not just um, disconnected products which um, exist by themselves, but they, we, we have integrations not just between Meraki and Umbrella, but actually with a lot more products which you can see here. So for example, on the upper left side, Stealthwatch, um, this is a solution for um, NetFlow monitoring, so which monitors uh, all the flows in your network. Cisco Umbrella on the right side, well, we. We are just uh, talking about that, about about that in, in the session. Uh, Cisco Eyes is is our identity services engine, which can provide you with a lot of functionality in terms of user management, and rights management, and so on. Um, AMP is something uh, Yasmin just uh, mentioned. It's our uh, advanced network protection architecture with uh, with its integration into ThreatGrid, which is our sandbox solution. We have uh, Snowpart, which is in intrusion prevention system, and of course we, have, uh, we also have AnyConnect, which is our uh, VPN, uh, VPN software. And you don't, uh, you don't need to remember all of, all of these, of course. Um, I just mentioned these so you, you get a feeling for what we can actually do and, and how, this, how this all plays together. Right? And I think this is, this is one of the strengths why it is a really good idea to to uh, go with the Meraki solution, also why to go with Umbrella. And on the top, you, you can see Talos. Um, Talos is our um, security research group, and this is sort of an overarching uh, overarching team uh, of uh, more than 250 security researchers who are, you know, who share their intelligence with all of the Cisco products. So all of the Cisco products um, benefit from, from their findings and uh, from the signatures which which they provide. Right. So, yeah, you can see on the Meraki side in the middle. Um, actually, these solutions integrate with uh, with uh, various of, of the Meraki products. Uh, we have integrations uh, on on the um, on the access point level as well as on the switching side, and of course, the firewall is integrated with also with with a lot of these products. And we even integrate on the mobile device management side. So. You know, and we, we we can't just see and control the network. We can also extend this control to uh, the user's mobile devices, um, if you wish so. So I think that that is very exciting. And uh, of course, if you would like to learn more about any of, of the of the other products on on the slide, um, just speak to us anytime, and uh, we are happy to to show you how how this works and uh, what we can achieve with these solutions. All right. Uh, with that, I would just uh, like to, you know, now we have looked in, at the individual products at Meraki and Umbrella, uh, what they can do and, and what they can provide. I just uh, want to show you why are we actually um, talking about this integration, right? So, um, because you might know Meraki already brings a lot of security features um, to the table and uh, Umbrella as well. So, where does this integration now actually make sense and what can 
what, what can, can we actually achieve um, with, with this integration. So Meraki, the Meraki security appliance in particular, um, is very good at uh, providing or protecting you against uh, intrusion attempts. It has the Snort IPS engine um, integrated, which you can also find in, in other Cisco security products. And it does a very good job in, in uh, protecting you from uh, malware, for example, man in the middle, and uh, also software and application vulnerabilities. So this is uh, something where the Meraki MX platform is, is ideal um, to use. Right? Um, and where um, Umbrella comes into place is now where uh, where we are talking about malware and, and command and control callbacks and, and phishing. Why is that? Well, because um, being cloud-based, we um, with Umbrella we can protect uh, we can protect against these threats uh, very well because uh, this is something where quick reaction time is is crucial. Right? So, you know, when when attackers launch a new infrastructure, um, this usually happens within within hours and not within days or, or even longer. So a cloud-based approach makes a lot of sense in that case, and uh, this is where uh, Umbrella really shines, right? So um, ideally, of course, you have both. So you have um, the Meraki appliance, uh, which protects you um, against a lot of, um, a lot of, um, lot of signature-based uh, signature attacks. And where you have umbrella, which uh, covers all the all the DNS-based uh, side of things, and which can also protect your roaming users. Like I mentioned in the beginning, when your devices move out of your Meraki network, you still have that protection, which follows your device, so to say. All right. And as you can see, hopefully you can see from from this from this uh, uh, from the slide, uh, we are talking about multiple layers of protection. Right, because none of our solutions is claiming to provide 100% protection, and uh, you know every security vendor who claims 100% protection, um, we think isn't isn't really honest. Um, but the best approach we have is just to have multiple layers, which uh, which can can just increase the overall security uh, level. All right, with that, I would I would I will um, uh, I will stop sharing. The slides here because I'm going to hand over to uh, Ishan, who will um, demo you the, the integration in the dashboard. And uh, let me quickly pass it all to Ishan so you can actually um, you can actually start. And yeah, take it away, Ishan. Good morning, everyone. Um, Hope you all are well. Um, so today I'm just going to quickly de uh, um, demo the um, integration between Umbrella and Meraki and show you how um, we can we can um, we can integrate both dashboards so you can provide that protection on your Meraki devices. So what we can do is so uh, once you've uh, uh, opened up your umbrella dashboard and you're presented with your overview, um, what we can do is, is we can come over to admin come to the API keys and what we can do is, is we can generate um, an API key that we can put into the Meraki dashboard. So what we can do is we can click on the create button here at the top, uh, click on um, generate new key sorry for the umbrella network devices. Here for example I've already generated one for, the, for this uh, demo and we can see here, um, here it is, here is my uh, key that's generated and what you would do is, is you'd copy your key and your secret and paste that in to the Meraki dashboard. So you would come over into your Meraki dashboard, come over to network wide and then general. What you would then do is, is you would scroll down to uh, have a look, the Cisco Umbrella account set, um, uh, partition, sorry. And what you would do is, is you would copy your Umbrella key and your Umbrella secret into the dashboard, and that is it. You then, um, you've then connected both dashboards together. So once you've, once you've, once you've done that, we can then um, provide the protection and apply those policies on a MR, which is our APs, and an MX basis, which of course is our firewall. So what we can do is, is to, to apply this policy to our new integration with the MXs, we can come over to security and SD-WAN, come over to SD-WAN and traffic shaping, 
and um, once this loads, we can then we can then set specific umbrella policies um, on that specific MX, say for example. Um, so once it fetches um, your umbrella configuration and your umbrella policies, we can scroll down here and, and of course where it says umbrella protection, we can say okay, I want to set uh, whatever policies that I've added into my umbrella dashboard. So if I quickly show you on the umbrella side, um, all my policies that I've created um, are in here. So under umbrella and then policies, you can see I've got a couple of policies here. And I can see them actually within the Meraki dashboard and I can say, okay, I want to apply this um, specific policy. So for example, if it's my guest network or if it's my uh, corporate network or I've actually added uh, an IoT policy in there, for, for example, too. Now that's just on the MXs. How can you do that for a per SSID basis on your, um, on your APs? So what we can do is, is we can come under wireless, come to again firewall and traffic shaping. And again, once this fetches your umbrella policies and fetches your umbrella configuration, um, you can then set your policies um, to those specific SSIDs. So, you know, a use case here, for example, might be, you know, I've got a, uh, a guest network set up, um, broadcasted across my MRs. Um, you know, here we go. I want to set my policy to be my uh, uh, umbrella policy to, to be set up as my, as my guest network. Or say, for example, you know, I want to set that up to be my uh, corporate network. And once you've done that, that, obviously, you, you, you can control your policies um, through the umbrella dashboard, of course. You know, we're looking at applying various security and content filtering settings here as well, as well as looking at um, providing application uh, settings too. Um, and of course, then what you can do is you can also get reporting on that, and you can see local IP address visibility there. Um, I hope that's okay. If you've got any questions, do feel free to pop them into the uh, Q&A box um, within WebEx, um, and I will answer them for you. I hope that's been useful. I'll pass back over to David. All right. Thank you very much, Isham. I think a uh, live demo is always uh, much more exciting than you know, covering the whole thing. Uh, on slides, um, I just uh, want to share with you a few technical bits and pieces um, because I, I'm guessing that uh, some of you might uh, might be interested in what is actually going on behind the scenes. So let me let me quickly jump back to to my slides and uh, just talk a bit about the integration and, and how that actually works. So I've I've put three points on on the slide here just to uh, just to tell you more about of what is what is going on um, and why this integration is actually a, much better than just forwarding your DNS traffic to Umbrella. So first of all, you can see we, we actually add additional information to to the DNS request. So we add a device ID and then also um, the internal client IP to the DNS packet. What this allows you is to um, first of all, we don't depend on, on the public IP address of that device. So if you have used Umbrella before, you know the most, uh, so the simplest integration is, uh, is by just, uh, by just uh, you know, putting your public IP address into the Umbrella dashboard, you know, so that we know that every traffic coming from that IP address is actually yours. With that integration, you don't need to care about this anymore because this integration is API-based and we don't rely on, on any specific IP address anymore. And second, the client IP address uh, is something we, we, or actually the, the, the Meraki device adds to the DNS packet. So when you look at, at the reporting in your, in your umbrella dashboard, um, you can actually see um, which, it, which client actually made a specific, specific request. So this helps you a lot with uh, troubleshooting on one hand, but also in terms of reporting um, so that you can, that you know uh, which user actually uh, or which client actually made these requests. Um, the second, uh, second bullet point, um, we also support split DNS. So we can, we can actually support use cases where you might have an internal DNS server, which you would like to use for uh, internal domains, which should not go out to the umbrella backend. And uh, so this is a requirement you'd often see in, in enterprise environments, and we can we can make that happen on, on the Meraki side, right? So this is this also provides you with additional flexibility, so that you can have internal domains 
uh, and, and also keep these requests internal. Yeah, last but not least, um, the solution uh, uses DNS script. DNS script is, a, is, a, is used to encrypt uh, the whole DNS request. And you know, if, if you're uh, if, if you're a bit deeper on, on the technical uh, details, you might know that DNS typically is not encrypted. So when you send a DNS request, um, everyone between your computer and the DNS server um, can actually see that request and log this request and and, um, and also modify this request. In fact, so um, being encrypted, this uh, you are protected against uh, all of these all of these attack vectors. And uh, this is also uh, turned on by default. So this means uh, from the point where your re where your request uh, hits the Meraki device, it gets encrypted and forwarded to the umbrella backend. And of course, the answer is encrypted as well. Right? So you don't have to care um, about any of these any about any any of these issues. All right. Um, I've also seen the question on the chat. So this is not on the slide, but um, I've seen a question not in the chat in the Q and A session actually. Uh, about what firmware you need to to benefit from this, these features, and I think that that's a very good question because we just added these features to to uh, on the Meraki side, and this is also why we are having this webinar, of course. So these features are quite fresh, so um, you would need to use the uh, the newest firmware on both the access points uh, and the security appliances. In case of the access points, that's MR26, and in case of the security appliances, it's version. Uh, 15. In order to see that, um, you would need to turn on uh, beta software, um, so, we, so you, you would be able to um, upgrade to that software. But uh, other than that, there aren't any requirements. Just upgrade to the software, and uh, you should be able to see these uh, sections in your uh, in your dashboard. All right. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick uh, diagram of what this looks like in terms of. Uh, networking, and uh, this is actually quite simple. So um, you can see we we have broken this up into two networks, or in that case, two uh, Wi-Fi SSIDs, and uh, uh, they they just forward their requests to the Meraki MR or MX, where we uh, insert this additional information I just talked about. We encrypt the packet and send it to our dashboard to the Umbrella backend, where your Umbrella policy gets applied. Right. So, uh, on the umbrella backend, you can we you can make the, the same um, distinction. Um, you can select the policy, which should get applied to your employee traffic and also um, to your guest network, um, which means you can have different policies. Right? Because you might you might say I want to block certain let's say certain um, content categories for my employees or on my guest network, which um, I actually want to allow for. Uh, which I want to allow on another network. So this is uh, entirely possible. Um, one more thing on the technical side, which I think is uh, is quite interesting and, and also quite cool, um, because you, you might say, well, um, so how about the settings on, on the computer, right? Do I have to change any of the settings on, on the computers which connect to the network? And how would I be able to do that in case of a guest network where I don't have any control over over the devices which connect? And uh, the good news is you, you don't need to change anything on the client, right? So um, the, the clients have, can, can use uh, essentially any, can have any uh, DNS service configured. It doesn't matter um, because as soon as the request hits the Meraki device, so either the access point or the security appliance, um, we actually, uh, we actually uh, you know, we collect all these, all these requests and uh, we sort of ignore the DNS server, which is um, uh, in, in that packet, right? So we, we just capture all the DNS requests and forward them to the, the umbrella backend, no matter what DNS server the client um, has configured. So this way, um, you can we can make sure that, that uh, none of the client bypasses our umbrella protection, um, so uh, the client wouldn't be able to reach any other DNS server or to use any other DNS server than um, umbrella. Right, so um, I think this is also quite nice. So nothing to do on the client side. Everything uh, happens on the network layer, and you have full control over um, the DNS requests. Right. With that, uh, I would like to uh, advance to our uh, last slide, 
which is about uh, is about links. And since it's since you can't you wouldn't be able to click on on that uh, on on that slide, uh, we thought we make it a bit easier for you to to ac actually uh, follow these links. So first of all, um, we invite you to test Umbrella yourself. Um, as mentioned, this is very easy and can be set up within literally within minutes. And uh, you will receive an email with 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 the link um, after this uh, this webinar, uh, which takes you to sign up page where you can just uh, start your job yourself, and uh, you don't need anyone else. You don't need to wait for anything. You can just start right away. On uh, the Meraki side, we also I think have a, a very compelling offer. So we have a program where you can uh, where you can watch a Meraki webinar, which goes into a bit more depth about the uh, of Meraki and the platform and the products. And uh, in return, we offer a free Meraki access point um, in combination with a license, of course. And uh, we, we then send you this access point, which, and you can you also get to keep this access point. So I think this is quite cool. So you, you can see uh, you can try both Umbrella and Meraki um, for free. You can turn on the integration and, and just test uh, how this works together. So I think this is, this is a very very compelling offer. Yeah, and in terms of documentation, we also have uh, we also have a lot of a uh, lot of details for you. Uh, the easiest is really if you just head to head over to documentation.meraki.com and just search for Umbrella. Right, this will bring up the integration guide, which has all the details and how it works. Um, it also has a lot of screenshots which take you through the process. So in case you uh, in case you uh, you want to. Uh, go through the details. You, you can do that. Um, also, the email which you're going to receive will include a link uh, with the recording of the session, so you can go through the recording and uh, and, uh, and and rewatch it or share it with uh, colleagues, for example. All right, um, that's it for uh, from our side. We will stay on for a couple more minutes um, to answer your questions. So, if you still have any questions, which uh, which, have, which uh, are still unanswered, please just uh, put them in the Q&A section. We will stay around and, uh, and try our best to, to answer them for you. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for taking the time and, and spending this time with, with us. Um, I wish you uh, a, a very nice remaining day, and I uh, hope to see you soon on one of our upcoming webinars. Thank you very much. Goodbye.